And welcome to Let's Fly VFR 2 to heading out in the P47 Thunderbolt in DCS. As always, come visit letsflyvfr.com if you're looking for any information and awesome toys. Subscribe, like, and feel free to share if you would be so kind. So here we are, the big, massive aircraft. This P47 Thunderbolt is just enormous to sit in. Amazing in VR. They got all the all the technical information there on screen. And this one seems to get missed by most. Lots of firepower. We've got the 4.5 calibre machine guns there. Carries bombs, rockets. Very much deployed on an air-to-ground task. Very well uh, laid out in the cockpit. Uh, very highly detailed. And uh, certainly a hell of a lot of fun to fly. Um, quite forgiving, unlike uh, I find the P-51 likes to wing stall if you pull a little bit on the hard side so a little bit of a patrol over uh, over Dover as we slide around here but just looking at all the different pieces that are available in the current uh, free to play and I've got to say this is uh, going to end up in uh, my virtual hangar this P-47 um, I think it would be a magnificent aircraft to fight with as well it seems good we're going to do a little bit of air to air stuff bit of air to ground stuff um, try and land this mongrel thing because it's again it's huge and have a bit of fun with it but in the little bit of time i've had with it um, very unforgiving turns very well i would say you would be good up until about fifteen thousand, let's say uh, in altitude because i don't believe it has a supercharger so once you get up above that level it's probably going to lose out in performance, even though it has 2,000 horsepower on this massive big engine that's pulling us along out the front here as we fly along with a few wingmen. So this is uh, the other side. This is the Dover map that uh, that's available. So um, if you're not or don't already have this one, feel free to go out and have a look at it. Now let's get up in the sky. We'll do a bit of air to air stuff with these BF-109s. Um, can't say as my tracking has been particularly good, but I was able to stay with them, which was really good. Um, I think that was one of mine. I've got to be a bit more careful on that. The uh, the view that I have in VR, my Oculus Rift, uh, is a little bit higher than what you're seeing here on screen. I was sitting a little bit higher. I just sort of crunched down to look through the, uh, the gun sight. So um, it is a little bit different, but uh, I tell you, if you're not flying in VR, guys, um, you're really missing out on something. I know there's some advantages with the track IR um, and being able to quickly turn around and look behind you. Um, it's a little bit harder with the VR because you actually physically have to do that. Um, so I find myself grabbing hold of the table to look around behind me because invariably that's where they are. If you can't see them, that's where they are. They're behind you. So as we track this BF-109 around, I'm getting a few more rounds out in on the target. I don't know if I actually got any. I think I got a couple of little hits while I was flying around, but I don't believe I took anything down. But it was uh, really, I've only played this thing for about an hour. Uh, and most of that was actually just making this video after I did the initial flight and went, and I thought, well, this is, uh, this is nice. I like it. And uh, I thought I would share this with you. Because as I say, the, uh, the Spitfire and the P-51 seem to get most of the press. An aircraft like this, I think you will really enjoy uh, if you want to take out and try something a little bit different. Uh, again, if you're going to use it in the air-to-ground roll, you're not going to climb up high with bombers, then I think you'll find, uh, and again, I just missed one of my own guys, so that's a good thing. Uh, I think you find this aircraft might be really good uh, for doing that air-to-ground roll and being part of an overall server where you have air-to-air -air assets and then you have the air-to-ground assets that they're taking out the targets. There's a whole lot of um, good practice missions as well, depending on how many maps you own, but certainly you can get out. There's a really good one, which I haven't included, which is an attack on an airfield. Uh, lots of uh, surface-to-air gunnery going on as we come into the 6th of June, and this is the uh, the D-Day landings depicted by DCS. They do a pretty good job. The, uh, this is the Normandy map, guys, if you haven't seen it. I'm sure you've seen it on plenty of other videos if you've been looking at DCS. But uh, there's a lot happening here. There's uh, fires going off. There's uh, explosions happening on the ground there. 
is a few sets of uh, fortifications as well which you can go in and attack which I'm going to come around to in a moment there's other stuff happening on the water like this uh, landing craft um, they're getting a bit wet in the landing craft but it is there and uh, so there's lots more as we come in low level let's do a bit of a, a fly past them maybe we'll, we'll have a go at taking out some of these ground targets and of course where the uh, the German soldiers would have been during this, this period and that's along those uh, buildings at the very front of the uh, the landing area we've got some landing craft there as we go back down the engine in this sounds awesome let's dive in maybe we'll get off a few rounds the head position is a little bit better you can see the uh, the site a little bit better here as we let off some rounds at some of the uh, fortifications there on the ground And this does have an auto prop so it uh, makes things a little bit easier just got to watch your manifold pressures as you spin around we'll climb and as we roll over on our back we'll come back down now this is very forgiving as well if you uh, if you stall or if you get caught nose up um, a good amount of rudder will just roll you over and you can get back down doesn't that look magnificent and of course there's the dreaded Spitfires flying around doing patrols and we're hovering around underneath them taking out these ground targets helping out troops is the theory let's get back down there and uh, share some love just one of the fortification areas next to this little town there's a couple of these uh, along this beach front magnificent and the frame rates are really excellent as well uh, again if you're not familiar I've got a 2600 and a uh, an RTX 2060 super so um, working very well getting a nice solid generally 40 FPS or so in VR as we pull this one around and head back down to the beach again and support those troops on the ground guns out there's bound to be uh, people firing from those buildings so we'll put a few rounds in there and help the guys as they come uh, come to shore turning around low level you can see the damage from some of those uh, rounds that have landed from the ships as we fly back out again another one going off there to the left and climb up and out again just a delight to fly it really is nice and I've got to say the landing that we're going to go and try and do uh, is my second one that I've going to have, that I've attempted. So there you go, camera views off from the nose as we head back down again, firing away those cannons, lighting up the tree line as we head back up and out again. We'll just roll over again and come back around getting fairly low on ammo now doesn't the water look good there you can see just into the shoreline all the boats out there as well all the ships landing craft I haven't uh, ventured too far inland on this map but it, uh, it looks amazing uh, in just flying this little area around the beachhead here looks like there's something down on the ground there as well flying past Unless that's my own shadow, that, that says a lot about the graphics if I'm got a sh casting a shadow from all the way out there. And a last pass as we head down the beachfront. Powering up. Low level and we'll just walk the rounds down as we go. Again, into those buildings, into those tree lines, there's some vehicles there on the ground. We'll keep it low and fast here and try, and try not to get hit by anything on the ground fire. Some explosions out there in the water. Lots happening here. Bank hard left. As we pull around and then we'll get away from here. Go low level between these trees trying not to hit anything. We'll climb back out. Thank you. 
good that we made the foam rope as smooth as as we head down through the smoke. Put it under a little trailing of the smoke and some reaction to it there wasn't anything there on that front as we headed out here. Growing up. Okay. Turning around, oh, we've got a runway over there. And we're going to bring this uh, big beast of an aircraft in to, uh, to try and land it. And see how we go. Put the speed back to about, it's just coming back towards 150 knots. Line in. Now I don't know where the brakes are and this isn't a long runway so I'm hoping I can just roll out without hurting myself. Being able to use the mouse to uh, operate things in the cockpit, get the flaps down, gear down. As we come in on the late final, going pretty nicely. We'll keep it steady. It's just sitting on the 150. That might be a little bit on the far side, but shouldn't be too far away. Holding the attitude. Oh, little bounce. But I'll tell you, the overall experience, the uh, the P47 uh, and these maps, both the, the Dover and the, the Normandy map are uh, really amazing. So I hope you enjoyed that little intro. Uh, it's only intended to be that. Give you a bit of a view if you've not considered the P47 in the past. Um, I'm telling you, I highly recommend it. And as I say, we'll be staying in my DCS hangar as we pull this aircraft up and my feet go away so subscribe like as always share with your friends help me grow the channel and i uh, hope you enjoyed the p47 thunderbolt catch you back here at let's fly vfr again real soon bye bye